We try something outside the box today, and I'm just loving this stuff. In it, you do have to bleach and pluck your own knots, but the knots are small, and it stands across the board for everything else. So let's get into styling this wig, y'all. So the beginning was mainly self-explanatory, which is why I explain it. You know, just part out your baby ears and curl it, and then I hot combed it, and I use my bad spray to mold those ponytails down. It doesn't make the hair hard, and not to mention easy to work with since we cancel it even. And before we get into styling, we're gonna move these baby hairs down because they do take time to tie. I promise y'all, it's not as hard as it looks. Just don't be heavy-handed with the moves, and you'll be fine. Let them fall in place. We ain't curl it for no reason. That is bun. Baby, pay close attention. In these clips, I parted each ponytail into four. I twisted the section tight enough to where it folds, and then I put a rubber band. With that same section, I twisted and pinned it until it got thin like this. I repeated that same process for all four sections, and remember to only use one rubber band per section. You don't want your hair tangling when you take it out. As far as shaping the buns, you have full control of that. Pin your hair where you want it to be. By the time I was finished with that, it was time to leave baby hairs out. When I tell y'all to pluck until your fingers hurt, thin out those baby hairs. And always remember to long because you can trim it at the end. Pizzazz is for sure in my top three. The wig ate down, the salt ate down. And definitely don't forget to add this wig to your cart. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!